Every year for the past eight years, Metro honors its officers for distinguishing themselves in the line of duty at the Best of the Badge Gala. That's happening this weekend. And one of the honorees, Metro Detective Juan Contreras, along with Sergeant Miguel Garcia, join us now. Good morning to you both. Well, good morning, Alyssa. Thank you for having us. And uh, like you said, every year we uh, we do this event. Unfortunately, last year uh, was an exception because of COVID. Uh, but we're back at it again, uh, and it's important for us to recognize uh, our our officers and their heroic actions. And it's all thanks to uh, our LVMPD Foundation. They do a great job of putting this gala together in order for us to uh, uh, recognize officers like here, uh, Detective Contreras, for the uh, heroic actions that he took uh, back in October of last year. And Detective, you're being honored with preservation of life. I uh, was able to watch this video. We have video for our viewers to see as well. But if you can take us uh, back to that day in October of last year with just how quickly things were changing for you on the scene. Well, good morning, Alyssa, thank you. Uh, yes, yeah, so in uh, October of 2020, uh, I was working in the southeast part of the valley uh, when we got a 911 call about a robbery that occurred to one of our local businesses. Uh, we got a description of the subject and uh, were advised that he was armed with a firearm in that crime. Uh, I was close by the area. I responded to the neighborhood where he had seen, was seen fled. Uh, we received an updated 911 call from a female stating that her husband was involved in a fight with an unknown male uh, in a firearm in the front yard. Uh, I knew I was close to that street and I responded. I, I witnessed the two males, one of them that was matching the suspect description from the robbery, uh, fighting over a firearm in the front yard. Uh, I stepped out of my vehicle and I made the decision I was going to have to use deadly force based on the circumstances. Uh, as I ran up, uh, I saw an opportunity to uh, not use deadly force, to actually uh, kick the firearm out of the suspect's hand, uh, which I, uh, I, I attempted and it worked out. And uh, thankfully, I, wasn't actually ha I didn't actually have to use deadly force that day and uh, no lives were lost. Wow, I mean, and this just shows you how quickly things change because in that video, uh, we saw you get out of your car, run to where the two men were fighting over that gun. As you were running to the scene, you already had in your mind, because of the situation, I'm gonna have to shoot and kill this suspect. But when you got there, you saw that the gun was in a place where you could kick it away from the suspect's hand and from the struggle with the homeowner and nobody died in this incident. And Sergeant Garcia, tell us about uh, why it's so important for Metro to honor these types of situations and specifically the preservation of, of life. Well, Alyssa, you know, I, we've been, we've been uh, preaching, uh, uh, you know, de-escalation tactics and things like that for us because the sanctity of life is important for us. doesn't matter who, who is on the other side of this, right? If it's a suspect or a victim, it's important for us to ensure that uh, if we have options uh, not to use deadly force, that we, that we use them. And it's important for us to recognize uh, these actions because it, it shows the public the type of training and the effort that our officers take every day in order to ensure that, that we're doing what, what is best when it comes to tactics to, uh, uh, you know, not rely so much on the use of deadly force, but to try and, and, and do things like uh, Detective Contreras did where he took uh, a dangerous situation and he de-escalated it by kicking the gun away from the suspect. You know, he was thinking outside the box and uh, it worked out. Well, Detective, uh, congratulations on your honor. Thank you for saving uh, not one but two lives that day. And Sergeant Garcia, as always, thank you for joining us on Behind the Badge. And if you have a question for Metro, send an email to behindthebadge at foxyvegas.com. We'll go to traffic.